Today we're going to be taking a look at part number C56145. This is the Kurt T connector vehicle wiring harness with the four pole flat trailer connector. This unit is going to provide a four way flat trailer connector at the back of your vehicle to power your trailer signal lights. It is compatible with five pole, six pole, and seven pole adapters. Those adapters are sold separately. This product is going to fit certain years and models of the Chrysler 300. Uh, it's going to include your tail light converter. This is going to ensure that your vehicle's wiring matches out of your trailers. The powered module is going to connect directly to the battery to avoid overloading the vehicle's electrical system. The unit is going to be constructed of surface mount technology for consistent, reliable performance. What that does is it maximizes your trailer light yield and intensity while producing minimal heat and it ensures superior operation even in rough road conditions. Here on the four-way flat side, it's going to include the dust cap. That way we can cover up our connection points when our connector is not being used. Now another benefit of this system is that it's designed to connect quickly and easily. You don't have to worry about cutting or splicing any of your wires and it's going to come with everything that you need for your full installation. Uh, when it comes to the installation, you're going to need to locate the connection points in your rear cargo area and then you're going to need to connect your T connectors. Uh, the side with the yellow wires, so the yellow and brown and it has one red wire running to it, that's going to go to the driver's side of the vehicle the side with the green and red wires, that's going to run over to the passenger side and that's why it has a little bit more wiring uh, kind of bundled up with that side of the connector. So once you find those connection points, run those to the appropriate places and plug in your T connectors and then you're going to need to make a good ground connection. You want to ground to a nice clean metal surface. You can do that with the white wire, it has a ring terminal attached to it and you can make your ground connection using the included self-tapping screw. Next step is going to be to go ahead and mount your tail light converter. Uh, you want to do this in an out of the way location and you can mount that using the double sided adhesive tape that's included with this kit. The next step is going to be to run the hot lead to the fuse panel. That's going to be located near the vehicle battery. Your hot lead is going to be the black wire. It's bundled up right here and it's going to have the red fuse holder already connected um, to it. So on the other end of the fuse holder you're going to have a ring terminal. Uh, this needs to get connected to the stud that has your red battery cable attached to it. Once you have that connected, you just go ahead and install the included 10 amp fuse inside the fuse holder and close up the cap. The next step is going to be to go ahead and secure your wires uh, up and out of the way. You can do that with the included zip ties, uh, secure the excess or any slack in your wiring. And then once your installation is complete, uh, the four-way connector is going to be stowed in an out-of-the-way location within your rear cargo area. It's also going to come with very detailed instructions. These are going to walk you through the installation process step by step. And one last thing to mention is that it is recommended that you use a small amount of dielectric grease on all electrical connections, like the plugs on your vehicle and the four-pole connector itself. That's going to help prevent any type of corrosion. That's going to do it for today's look at part number C56145.